In this video, we provide the solution to question number 15 for practice exam three for math 1030, in which case we have to, uh, we have to apportion 20 seats among three states, ABC, using the Huntington Hill method. Now, Huntington Hill is a divisor method, so we have to look for a modified divisor. For the sake of simplicity on this exam, a modified divisor is given to you of 12.25. So we're gonna divide each of the three states' populations by the modified divisor, 12.25, in which case we get the following, 150 divided by 12.25 gives us 12.5714. 66 divided by 12.25 is 5.38776. And then finally, 30 divided by 12.25 gives us 2.44898, like so. So now we then, with the Huntington Hill method, we round the quotas up or down based upon whether they're larger or smaller than the geometric mean. Now, the geometric mean does compare to the arithmetic mean. That is, the 0.5 rule does come into effect. If your decimal place is 0.5 or bigger than your geometric mean, which is always smaller than the arithmetic mean, um, you have to be bigger than that. So if you're 0.5 or bigger, you are going to round up when it comes to geometric rounding. So you're going to get a 13 right there. 12.5 rounds up to 13. Um, on the other hand, if your decimal part, if your residue is 0.4 or smaller, that will always guarantee that you round down. So as this one is 5.3, that'll round down to 5. But then if your decimal part is 0.4, that's when you're in the danger zone for which you need to check the geometric mean to be certain. Particular because your, your, your number there, 2, is really, really small. So the gap between the geometric mean and the arithmetic mean, it could be quite large. We have to make sure we don't fall. We, we have to make sure we fall where we are. We, we don't know at the moment. We have to compute the geometric mean. So the geometric mean, we're going to compute the square root of 2 times 3. So notice our quota, our, our modified quota, its lower quota would be two, its upper quota is three, so that's the number we're looking there. Two times three gives us six, and using a calculator, the square root of six turns out to be 2.4494, we can probably stop there. Um, if you compare that, it's like 2.448, whoa, if you round to three decimal places, they look the same there, but 2.4489, this is a number that's teeny, 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 bit smaller than the geometric mean. So we're gonna round this one down. So we get two seats right there. And notice that 13 plus five plus two adds up to be 20, which then gives us a correct apportionment of the seats using um, the Huntington Hill method.